Well, U.S. helicopters have sunk three small Houthi boats in the southern Red Sea as the Yemeni group attempts to pressure Israel into ending the war. The U.S. Navy received a second distress call from a Maersk container ship on Sunday morning. Houthi boats had got to within 20 metres of the vessel, shot at crew and tried to get on board. They also opened fire on the U.S. helicopters. The container ship had already been struck by a Houthi missile on Saturday. Well, Russell Soto joins us live from Djibouti now uh, for more on this. And uh, as we've seen an increasing number of incidents, are they raising concerns about the effectiveness of this naval mission? Indeed. So the USA has said that it has formed a multinational task force in the Red Sea to deter Houthis from attacking the commercial ships, commercial vessels here. However, practically, there is not much that we can see that is acting under the command of this coalition. Rather, we see that the USA is increasing its naval presence here and the warships that are engaging in fighting against the Houthis are the US warships, not the coalition warships. So in the last 24 hours, the three attacks, and now for the first time since the beginning of the crisis, the USA is saying that they didn't only sank three boats, but also killed the crew. So this is the first time that we, we, we see that the USA says that they have killed some Houthi members. As of now, we do not know whether there's going to be a, a, a retaliation from Houthis or not, but certainly there is an escalation here. And one of the failure, or the, the failure regarding the effectiveness of this coalition is that Maersk, one of the largest global shipping companies, has just announced that it is going to suspend the, the vessel's passage through the Red Sea for the next 48 hours. So there has been a remarkable decrease in the number of the ships that are passing through the Red Sea, up to 40 percent. And now there's a huge escalation. So the USA hasn't been able to deter Houthis. The Houthis are saying that as long as, as, long as Israel continues its killing in Gaza, they are going to continue to, uh, to, to, to attack the vessels that are linked to the link to, the, 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 uh, to Israel. And the USA, on the other hand, is not stepping back. It's increasing its military presence here. So no one knows what is going to be the way out of this crisis. And this is causing fear among Yemenis. They believe that the USA might retaliate Houthis, not only in the Red Sea, but who, to targeting Houthis' position within Yemen. And they say that if that happens, that's going to be a full-fledged war. That's why more and more Yemenis are now fleeing their country and coming to Djibouti.